This program is brought to you in part by Sal Cal Real Estate Connections. And yes, this Ferrari gives you a hint of what the show is today as we are at the 2022 annual car show for the Children's Hospital here at the Farmington Polo Grounds. And believe me, you're in for a treat today. And this car is just a hint of what's going to happen here. Right, I'm going to start things off. My name is John Nickus, and I'll be your master of ceremonies this afternoon. On behalf of the Connecticut Children's Hospital, Orso Ferrari and Friends, and the entire committee, I'd like to welcome you to the 21st annual edition of this fantastic event. This year, we're proudly, of course, honoring the Connecticut Children's Hospital. A few of the most important people are standing here to my right. Summersites is walking away because she hates the limelight, but she deserves a wonderful round of applause for putting this on. If we have two hosts today, they are definitely, I was going to say Beauty and the Beast, but it probably doesn't apply in this case. Both of you are probably better looking than I am, but Yuri and Dana are co-chairmen for this event. Give them a round of applause. Summer, when you promised us children, these all look like really old people. And you can see that even though the event is billed as Concorso Ferrari, we definitely have some friends coming by. Uh, we have a Lamborghini, we have a Corvette, a Dodge Viper, a Nissan GTR. Oh, hold on. Dana, just a kid. Not important enough. Send him on. Then back up. So I'm going to stand in front of the GTR. Because if I get run over, that'll be incredible irony in my career. <laughs> So while Dana attempts to, oh, Dana's smarter than she looks. She managed to get that door open. So we have Jada. Jada is 15 years old. And by the way, Summer's going to remind me, everybody, as soon as D Jada gets out, let's give her a hand. So, Jane, have you ever stood on a red carpet before? First time. <laughs> I find that very surprising. No Oscars, no uh, Emmy Awards? No. I like dancing on TikTok. Yeah. Who else likes dancing on TikTok or watching people dance on TikTok? So, Jade, if we want to get you some followers, where do we go? So you're from Trinidad. So Trinidad and Tobago, is that right? Yeah. So thank you so much for being our first guest. And if you can't see, Jada's t-shirt says, Girls Can. And we have a wonderful medal for her. And thank you for being our first and definitely not our last. So we have another child coming up. Hi, how are you? So by the way, this is a very smart child, you can tell, because she was excited to see me. And, and who do we have here? And thank you, by the way, can everyone give a round of applause to all the drivers who have taken their time to pick up these kids and share these wonderful cars? And by the way, that's Max Silverman, our co-chair, so he's not even just a regular driver. So this is Joyana. Hi, my name is Joanna. So Joanna has a very shy personality, okay? So I need you to kind of 
coerce her into talking. You're how old? I'm 11. It says here you're obsessed with hypercars. Oh, I am. Totally. You have a favorite? My the McLaren P1. And McLarens are from what country? I don't know. It's all right. No, no. So, Joanne, I'm going to tell you something that's very important. Okay? I'm going to stand right next the to you. The best cars you in the world in are shots. built in Britain. Okay? They may not be the most reliable cars I mean, in the world, over me. but yeah, they're the yeah. best cars. Okay? So, if you want to grow up to own McLarens, I advise two things own a lot of fire extinguishers and wear comfortable walking shoes. Okay. Dear, thank you so much. Just give a round of applause to Joanna. So we have Marcus Brookland. And Marcus, uh, how old are you? Because <laughs> you're a big kid. Um, too old to count at this point. No, I'm too old to count. Um, so when did you learn to drive? Uh, probably about 10 with my grandpa on his farm. Right? That is awesome and a story we can all agree with. Marcus, thank you for being here. So this is 10-year-old Nar, is that right? Yes. It was pretty good. It was great. Can you take that on your driver's test in a few years? Heck no. No, okay. So what do you love? I love the Boston Celtics and I love playing basketball. I, I just remembered where we were, so that's probably a good thing. Um, I hope that you grow much taller than you are now. Okay? Thank you so much, Nar. So, we have Eli coming out of the 308. He is nine. Eli, how are you? Good. So, what do you think of the Ferrari? It's great. It is great, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. And it's better being short so your head doesn't stick over the top like Tom Selleck, right? Okay. So, what do you think of this morning? It was pretty good. Well, thank you for being here. We have a medal for you. So this is Kamal. Uh, Kamal is writing on behalf of someone. Is that right? Oh my goodness! Are you? This is Mighty Mona. And what is Mona like? She likes koosh balls and snuggling. And if you can see Mona, let's give her a huge round of applause. Thank you so much for being here. Enjoy the day, enjoy the sun, and thank you so much for being here, sweetie. So we have Michael Kumba, age 13, coming out of a Maserati Quattroporte. How are you? You collect cars already at 13? You really like Hot Wheels? So Summer or Dana, okay, is, are going to get a hold of you, and we're going to put you in touch with Larry Wood at Hot Wheels and get you a special Hot Wheel just for you. Okay, give him a round of applause. <laughs> Bryn, how are you? So, are you traumatized by riding in the aerial atom? What was it like getting into a car without doors? Fun. Fun, isn't it? Okay, so, what is your fun fact? Two dogs and so her fun fact, by the way, if you didn't hear that, is she has two dogs. One is old, one isn't, which describes a lot of relationships where I come from in Los Angeles, right? It'll get you a medal and give her a round of applause.
So this is the Lean Falcon that you were writing for? Uh, Connecticut Children. Okay. And you were a volunteer. You devote so much time. How rewarding is that for you? So nothing beats volunteering. That's the gift that keeps on giving. Thank you so much. And your son is a patient, and his name is? His name is Lucas. Lucas, as a British car guy, I love that name, what? but hate it sometimes too. Thank I'm you so much for being that here. Coming in. You like cars. Yeah, that's awesome. That's Thank you, Lucas. And, and he's know. got a car. Okay. Arteo, okay. over here. There you go. So, how old are you? Nine. You're nine. And what is your fun fact? That I love cars. Okay. So, Arteo loves cars. Who else loves cars? So, all that applause means, Arteo, that you are among friends, right? Okay, thank you so much. And we have a medal for you over here. Oh, wow. By the way, look at Catalina. So, Catalina, are you really Miss New England? Let's give her a round of applause to your queen representing the New England area. You are 10 years old, and so you actually have a job, right? Uh, I'm a pageant queen and model. Pageant queen and model, and you're also the Make-A-Wish ambassador, correct? Thank you so much for being here. You are lovely. Love the boots. Yes, there was fun for all, and believe me, this was an absolutely wonderful event. I could not believe the turnout here, and the people were just great, and so we really enjoyed taping this show. And boy, let me tell you, I hope you put this on the calendar for next year, because it is something special. And yes, we have Eugene with us, with a beautiful McLaren. I don't know nothing about it. Tell me, Eugene, what model is this car? This is a 570S, uh, 2016. Huh? And you, you use this car as a daily driver? I sure do, except when it snows because the ground clearance doesn't allow it to drive in the snow. Yeah. And uh, it's got 30, tell me. 6,000 miles on it now. So. Now tell me, do you go to events like this a lot? I try to. So I started coming here. 12 years ago when I got my first exotic car, which was a Ferrari, because this used to be organized by the Ferrari Club. And now it's uh, called Ferrari and Friends, and I think there are way more friends here than there are Ferraris. So that's the McLaren is here. So I will tell you one story about this, that I do have a Ferrari still, which is a very old Ferrari Dino, like the one in the corner over there. Yeah. And uh, I brought it to one of these events, and the kid I was driving was so disappointed because everybody was here in a fancy modern cars, and he was driving, riding around in a, in a really old car that didn't even make a loud noise. So I'm never going to make the same mistake again. So I bring a modern, loud car with the doors go up and down. Let me tell you, the cause here is just, I can't express words. Uh, how, you know, to support the Children's Hospital is very special. Now, where do you call home, Eugene? Roslyn, New York. So it takes you a while to get here, huh? Uh, not that long. Not that long, yeah. Well, this car, you know, will yeah. go probably a, a, a crazy speed, I'm sure. I will never admit to that. Okay. <laughs> well, we want to thank you for being here at this event and hope to see you every year. I appreciate it. Thank you, Eugene. You pleasure are you pleasure are, meeting you. You are excellent. Thank yes, you. Eugene's car was absolutely gorgeous, and we really want to thank him for coming. And yes, we have Eric from Ledyard with this beautiful AMG. I'm telling you, this car really got my attention. Tell me about this car, Eric. Uh, it's just 2016 AMG GTS. Uh, bought it about two years ago. Pretty much got every bolt on for modification done to it. But uh, it's a beautiful car. I love driving this thing. So it's got like twin turbos? Yeah, it's got upgraded uh, twin turbos. Yeah. Is it the first time you've been to this event? Uh, I was here last year, uh, just a display. Uh, 
the GTS, but this year I did the parade as well. well that's great. You know, the event here is special for the Children's Hospital, and we certainly want to thank you for being here. And uh, I hope we cut you. We see you all the time. Do you go to other events? Uh, I try to make as many events as I can. Uh, I work in California, so anytime I come back, I'm always looking for events to go to. Now tell me, do you you bring this to, like to a, a track day or anything? Uh, I have not yet bring it to a track day, but eventually in the future I, w I would like to, yes. I'm driving this car, I'll tell you, it's got to be a hoot. Oh, yeah. Put it that way. Yeah, it's fun. It's fun. Yeah. Good times. Yeah. So now wh where would you buy this car? Uh, I actually got it in Warwick, Rhode Island. Oh, is that right? Is the dealer there? Yep. Uh, Inskip Mercedes. That's where I got it. Oh, wow. Yeah. Well, I have to commend you. The car is gorgeous. I could see those twin turbos staring at me through that glass. And I, I hope you come every year, buddy. Thank you. I appreciate Thank it. Thank you for your time. No problem. And good luck today. Thank you. Wow, when I looked at, there's like a glass panel in the middle of the hood and you've got two turbos staring right at you. This car was gorgeous. And no, yes, no pictures, please. No pictures. yes, David, we got the McLaren, huh? Yes, you got to talk to me about this car. Okay, so it's a 2017 570S. It's called Volcano Yellow. Um, and this car is not completely modified but it's it's got a couple things to it so it's got lowering springs wheel spacers um, we put down pipes exhaust no cats we tuned it um, the entire car is covered in paint protection film this is the highest carbon fiber option from McLaren Wow! So wow. every single carbon that you can get from MSO is on this car so the mirrors, the splitter, the roof, the rear deck, the split, everywhere, inside everywhere. out. Um, and it's been great. I've had it for about six months, and it's been an awesome, awesome car. Have you ever had it on a track day or something like that? So, no, we do a lot of charity rally events. Yep. Um, so we went to tell the Dragon recently, and then Orlando, and then Miami. Yep. Um, we do a couple events in New York every year, um, all over the world, but off the racetrack. Um, I like to drive it, so I've put 15,000 miles on it with the mods it has, and it's been bulletproof. Wow. Where are you from, David? I'm from Boston. Oh, wow. The Red Sox. Huh? Yes, sir, the Red Sox. Oh, I'm a big fan. I'm a big fan. Good, good. Yeah, they're, they're, they're doing good. Now, where'd you, where'd, where'd you get this car? So I bought this out of Greenwich, Connecticut. Oh, wow. Yep. Miller. Uh, no, another private dealership. Oh, I didn't, mm -hmm. know. I didn't mm -hmm. even know they had it. Yeah, yeah, it wasn't a McLaren store. Um, it just happened to be... You know, there when I found it online and just happened to be at the right place at the right time. And I pulled the trigger on it. And I'm very happy with it. It's the first McLaren. I had a GT3 before. Um, but obviously with the mods and everything, it's a lot faster. I love the color. I'm going to tell you, that color, man. Yeah, it's it's got like green, red, sparkle. Depending on the sunlight, you can see it on camera. You won't be see, able to see much. But, you know, when you're up in person, you see all the glitter on it. it it's really nice. Well, we want to thank you for being here. It's always a great cause. and. And we hope to see you every year. Oh, thank you so much. Thank you, thank David. Thank you for having me. Thank you. All right. Let me get you a card. See if I got a card for you. And yes, David's McLaren. I mean, wow. This car was beautiful. In that color, volcano yellow. I mean, it's sparkled like I've never seen. You had to be close up to what, look at this car. Everywhere you looked on it, it was just gorgeous. And everything that they offer in carbon fiber, this car had. And you could tell he is certainly a big enthusiast of this brand. And boy, we was just happy he was here. And yes, we got Peter here with this. Sis Italia, I have never seen one of these cars. You got to tell me about they this car. They only made two of them. It's a 1950 Sis Italia Colombo. It's 1100 cc race car that raced in Sicily, and there was a sister car made that was right-hand drive. So one was a court road course car, one was a race course car, <laughs> and it was raced in Mount Etna and Targa Floria, all over Sicily. Um, not super successful. It wasn't bad. I saw some of the finishes. I have all the history on the car. It's a very interesting 
uh, car you won't see, uh, obviously, because they only made two. Did they do hill climbs, too? They did hill climbs. Mount Etna and uh, Mount Pele Pellegrino. You know the Pellegrino's water that we yeah, drink? Yeah. Yep, that's where it's from, from Mount wow. Pellegrino. Wow. Yeah. So, uh, I mean, they only made two. Do you know where the other one is? The other one's somewhere. I don't know where it is. It exists. It's I would love... I would love to find I wish it. I had my book because I have pictures of it. Yeah. But yeah, it's very, very neat car, um, and it it's, did recreations in t in Sicily. It's set up. You can drive it on the street. It has blinkers and a horn. They made it so it was street legal, so they could do the re recreations down in Sicily. But now it lives in America. Does Dad ever drive this car? He has driven it. I can. You have to be a small guy to drive it. I, it by design, the pedals are very narrow. Oh, yeah. There's no room in this car. You have to be little. So any tall guy is out of luck. So oh, to hey. be a little Italian comes in handy. Hey, once in a you know what? It pays to be a little Italian. That's all. Once in a while. So tell me, how's, how's your, uh, you got a shop on Berlin Turnpike? Yeah, I have right? a business in the Berlin Turnpike called Lombardo Motor Cars. Yeah. Been busy? We've been busy, yep. We do a lot of uh, Italian cars, sports cars, uh, things like that. You know, it's collector cars. Yeah. That's what we, we deal when we sell those. and. Alfa Romeo? Alfa Romeo, Fiat's, Maserati's, Ferrari's, Lamborghini's. I gotta find my way into one and, I, come by and, and I'm sure there. we'll be talking. Definitely. You still got those uh, Fiat race cars? Still have the Fiat race cars, yep. Oh, wow. yep. I have, a, I have an old 500 like uh, the one you saw over there, similar to that one. And Vespa motor scooters. Yeah. Oh, wow. It's like an Italian, everything's Italian. Hit the lottery I over there. The Italian lottery, yes. Okay. <laughs> Peter, is a pleasure. pleasure. And Thank I you. can't wait to come and see you. <laughs> Very good. Take care, Thank buddy. You. Thank you. Excellent job. You know, when you come to an event, sometimes you just run across something you've never seen and just something special that this car here is just, I couldn't believe it. I mean, Peter Lombardo's car. Wow. This is Italia. I just couldn't believe the condition of it, number one. But the, the style of it and, and design, I mean, where do you see a car like this? Of course, being from Sicily helped because that's like uh, my favorite thing, being half Sicilian. <laughs> and I'll tell you, what's a car. Wow. I mean, I can't wait to go to the shop on the Brown Turnpike to, uh, to look at this maybe a little more. And talk to them about it because it is certainly a very interesting car and uh, in reality everything he touches kind of looks like this just a gorgeous car as we come to the conclusion of the show today I want to remind everybody that there's going to be a follow-on show about this event as we talk to more people. And believe me, it was just a special day here at the Children's Hospital show. And yeah, I'm going to give you a glimpse of what's coming up in the next show that you will not believe when we talk to, about this car, what it's all about. Thank you for watching the show tonight. And tune in next week for the follow-on show. Have a great holiday. Thank you. This program is brought to you in part by our two pitchers and real estate broker Larry Mangello. And yes, we also want to thank Flavor Queen for all their help and support and look to do a little more things with them in the future. Thank you. Have a great weekend.